So as some of you know, a few years back, my wife and I uprooted our entire lives. We sold our 2,000 square foot home in Omaha, and we moved to Hillbilly Heaven in southern Missouri, and we built our version of a tiny house, which was a smallish 800 square foot home on three and a half acres, backed up to a lake deep in the Ozark Mountains. And when I say we built, I mean, we built it. So my little brother and I did almost everything from digging the trenches for the water and the electrical to building the custom gabled roof, running the electrical, all of it except for the siding. That was the one thing that I ended up hiring a contractor for. Anyway, as you can imagine, it was a pretty intense affair, especially considering I did that while still managing several freelance clients, running a six-figure business, and homeschooling my kids. And I quickly learned that all the good sounding nonsense that you get from most of the productivity experts, it's all cute. It's probably all well and good if you're trying to increase your productivity by 10 or 20% and get a little extra done throughout the day. But on day 115 of 18 hour days filled with intense mental work during the day running uh, my business and even more intense physical work at night building the house, all the fluff and nonsense tends to go out the window. And you kind of get to the brass tacks of what productivity is really all about. And no quaint little checklist or mental exercise is going to get your ass up to go dig that 100 foot trench in the pouring rain. The things that work in those moments tend to be much, much deeper. And they tend to strike at the core of who you are and what you truly want in life. And I, I really believe had my vision for the second half of my life not been as grand as it is, I don't think we would have ever finished because it was that grueling. Anyway, all of this speaks to what I call or what's called the uh, nature's quintessential secret. It's the secret to nearly limitless productive power. It's sort of like walking around with a secret that no one else knows. And you see people all around you struggling and suffering in their daily lives when you know the answer is so simple and it's right in front of them. In fact, they had it when they were a child, but lost it somewhere along the way. And now they just refuse to recognize it, even though most people actually know what it is. And I think people's brains just get so warped by all the rules that we learn from parents, teachers, hell, even a lot of the business and marketing and freelance gurus out there. When the thing that matters most is right there for you to grab hold of and change everything in your life. Think of it this way. What's the one universal rule every teacher, every guru, every expert will tell you about achieving success? The one thing that they all say massive action right that to get anything you have to act and you have to act intensely put in the work hustle all that sort of stuff well can you do that if you're constantly dealing with procrastination or uncertainty doubt fear lack of motivation all of those things no they're all constraints on how productive you can be and all the little programs and exercises for the most part are just nibbling at the edges to really cure all of those symptoms, you have to get to the root problem. And that's what nature's quintessential secret is all about. Anyway, I know how all this, I know how all of it sounds, but once you see it, like really see it, I think you'll realize that if anything, I'm downplaying it because I know how this sounds. I know it sounds like I'm about to tell you that aliens from planet Zatar are gonna beam you up to their ship and all you need to do is just drink this poison to ascend. <laughs> like I get how it sounds, but uh, it's also uh, tends to be or happens to be 100% true. Anyway, this is the principle underlying part one of my new course, Freelance Feast. It's about figuring out your quintessential service, maximizing the action you take and what you achieve by breaking through those constraints, uncovering your essence and tying that to a commercially viable service. It is the only way to maximize your potential and yes, earn as much as you're capable of, but more importantly, to be truly happy day in and day out. Anyway, like I said, it's in part one of my Freelance Feast course. That first part of the course is now up on Skillshare, so it's lesson number three uh, at myjohn.us slash feast. Again, that's myjohn.us slash feast. 
Now, if you're already a Skillshare member, that link will just take you straight into the course. If not, it'll trigger a 14-day trial uh, of the platform for you. And what some people do is they just start the trial, take the course, and then they cancel before the 14 days is up, and you end up not paying a penny to take the course. So up to you, but along with that, you also get unfettered access to all 30,000 plus courses on the site. So it really is a pretty good deal, although, you know, I'll be a few uh, hoops for you to jump through, but it may end up being a good option for you. Just know that I'll be taking the course off Skillshare at the end of this month, and I'll be selling it on my website for probably around $150 or so. So if you want to do this, if you want to take advantage of the Skillshare offer, again, do it now before it comes off of Skillshare. Again, the link is myjohn.us feast. All right, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.